So, uh, as you guys know, I study um, UCCs and I study credit. And on one level, it's it's very um, left brain, and I guess you can call it linear. It's like you know most people think about credit, credit scores. You know, you got Dow Jones, and you know you pretty much got your your FICA score is what they call it. So that's like the linear aspect of it, and then you got the um, more so right brain aspect of it, which takes you into like the Kabbalah and Merkaba mysticism and things of that nature. So that's going into more like the esoteric aspect of credit. So what I want to do here is just kind of break down. Of course, you know, I like to more so delve into the esoteric aspect. So I want to kind of like target, I say target, you know, loosely because this is just for this episode, but I want to target the mothers. And that's any mother, you know, out there that's um, a mother. Because I say that because the credit system is broken down based upon your your post, if you want to call it that. So like, you know, like the fathers, you got the mothers, you know, you got women, men, children, things of that nature and the credit score and all of that is based upon all of that. And um, I want to target the mothers for a reason because really ultimately credit is controlled ultimately by the queen, they say. And a lot of people, they don't like using the term queen. <clears throat> because of the fact that um, they say that queen takes you into a realm of slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like queen, like you say queen, that's like slavery or whatever. So people don't like using the term queen, but actually in reality, it's really based upon tears. And um, I learned that, you know, from some brothers in the temple, of course. So like, it's, it's based upon tears or whatever. So like, you got queens, kings, dukes, and different things like that. So like, these are all tears and these are all actually different credit levels, like different credit hands. Like a queen has a credit hand, she has her credit. You know, a mother is actually really tied into the queen credit because that's why I'm targeting. I said I want to target mothers because actually, you know, you have a lot of women calling themselves queens, but it's like, are you a mother? You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be a mother to be a queen, and then not only that, it would have to be not one child. It would have to be several from my research, like at least two. When I say several, like more than one. Because, you know, like, it has to be just more than one. So, like, yeah, are you really a queen? Do you even want to be that? It's not a diss. It's more like... Is that your title? Like, find your post. That's what I teach people. Like, find your post, your credit hand, your sector. So I'm targeting the mothers because, you know, the mothers kind of, their credit is messed up because a lot of them was forced into situations through secret societies. Like, they got rid of their sons. Fathers was deadbeats. Didn't really teach their sons, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So it's just like, like myself, like, like honestly, I never really told anybody this, but I say this here in this format that, like, I, you know, I have a, um, people in my family that are in the music industry and um there's a situation with like a lot of people don't understand this but there's a situation with reincarnation and um there's a situation when people go out and do things like you know like they go sleep with people and stuff like that and they're like well i use the condom this and that and i'm not going to get pregnant that's a form of birth control and there's like a contract with hp and a lot of advanced doctors know this believe it or not because they're into the occult as well but like Anytime you abort something, they can potentially use that semen for reincarnation. They save it and put it in the bank. If they want to set you up and they'll reincarnate and create a kid for you and it'll be your child and they may raise them in an adoption scenario and that type, and that type of scenario happens, so then this puts you into a scenario because you either got an abortion or you use the condom, the semen, or whatever the case may be. They have ways of extracting the semen through the water. These are wicked doctor type scientists or whatever you know what i'm saying they're in this type of stuff so i'm saying all this for a reason i'm going somewhere with this so like the past life aspect and addressing this is very important because a lot of people think they get away with stuff and it's like you got children running around here, men and women like deadbeat moms and dads and they pretend they set you up with that based upon a credit contract so that's why we're gonna go back to credit it's like well how do you get out of this and they do this based upon their credit contract, and I want to explain that, but I kind of still need to kind of spend a little bit of time explaining this setup, you know, that they do with um, women and their sons, their firstborn sons usually. And it's a part in the Bible where it talks about, like, how, how important the firstborn son is and, like, how, you know, the firstborn son to the Magi was the most important because of the fact that he got the inheritance and the Magi were the protectors of the child and the firstborn son. And you had people like wicked kings, like King Herod, and I spoke about this in other private videos that was going around killing the firstborn son. 
So this is what I'm talking about with the sacrifice. So like a lot of women didn't even know they had children because they were just going out here sleeping with men and this and that. And the third is like, you may have, like, do you even really know who your firstborn son is? That's what I'm getting at. Because these are wicked scientists that when you sign deals, like I just want to get some food stamps and you was young and you like, well, I'm gonna go hustle the system and, and go to college and get some grant money and not really go to college, but use it to do something else, you know, get some shoes or whatever. They gonna put you in a contract with that. And then you go out then you like, but I got a boyfriend and you know, I'm sleeping with him or whatever, but I don't want to have no baby with him. So I'm using protection boom that's the point i want to stop at so then boom that's where they get you they like okay well, we're gonna put this baby on the shelf so that when this person gets too big for their britches boom they got a son they didn't know nothing about them. then now they fucking with credit and messing with your life with this kid because credit again goes back to tears so now we can get off of targeting the women and kind of goes to the remedy because the targeting is like based upon some women are knowingly doing this and others aren't and it's a very touchy subject because a lot of them don't really want to talk about it, of course. And I understand that because it's very touchy because a lot of males ain't there. And they deadbeats because I say they don't want them. Even if they paying child support and stuff, that's one part of it. But I say they're deadbeats because like you're not teaching your sons and your wives in the proper way. And this is why disasters are happening. You know, people are sons, or firstborn sons getting sacrificed, wives getting killed and stuff like that because you didn't take the time to learn your post. That's why I say find your position as a husband, as a whatever you are. We'll talk about men later. So let's go back to the credit, you know, woman that will shut down. So so the credit system is based on UCCs. And again, like you got the queen and then the empress credit is basically, she, she governs for what I've studied. Like she sits over various women. Like this is a woman that's like, she's very successful. And she decides, I want to adopt. You may say queens or these women, these group of women and children or whatever, teach them the real way. You know what I'm saying? And she's benefiting from that through the credit system. So that's what that is. So now let me get into a little bit of personal stuff before I shut down the video because this links into everything that I'm saying. Like, now they put me on this last episode, I was telling you guys about it. They put me in a scenario because of my background to where they blamed me for messing up the credit system because every time I was doing certain rituals, they said that I always pretty much offset the female's credit because I was doing rituals in threes, the number three, which connects to the female clitoris actually, which is a big, big stimulator of credit, like one of the biggest stimulators of credit in our economy, believe it or not. It's not Wall Street and oil and gold. I mean, that's cool, but the female clitoris is one of the biggest stimulators of credit now. Like, I know you got the wine, and we've talked about that in, in other episodes, but in the male phallus, but as far as that, it's for women, that's one of the biggest stimulators of credit, but they say when I was doing certain rituals in threes, and a lot of other teachers too, they do rituals in threes. They like, but you offsetting, offsetting meaning messing up something that was naturally set up to stimulate credit and kind of deteriorating it and causing it to become an annuity. So I had to like, in order to balance that out, they put that, this is what I was talking about, how I got into this contract with HP and got locked into this negative underworld contract because it was really a way of evening out negative credit because like when you issue credit in any kind of way and then you decide i'm not doing this anymore you leave a credit stain or like a watermark where it's like i'm not doing this anymore i don't want to do this anymore i issue credit or whether it's through sex or drugs or whatever the case may be and i quit but guess what you got a ball of credit out there and that's going to eventually have to zero out and that's going to cause like i was saying economic disaster economic meltdown so this is why people get sacrificed and murdered, believe it or not. There's an unseen, wicked, spiritual entity that's a male aspect counterpart and a female counterpart. And believe it or not, with this credit thing and what I'm talking about in this aspect, like the last video, I talked about the female aspect. You you guys may not know about this on this video, but I did another video a couple of hours ago talking about this evil female entity, but this evil negative credit entity that's attacking female clitoris and female credit is actually a male entity that's attacking credit that hates the fact that the female clitoris is like one of the biggest stimulators of credit and i've been researching this thing and it like i say like evil entities target people i tell people this in my consultations all the time they, they target people and um how do i want to say this they target people based upon their gender essentially is what it is so like evil entities for instance if you're a male or a female they're going to target you based upon your gender and put a particular negative virus or spell on you based upon your 
gender. So like if you're a male billionaire, for instance, you're going to have billionaire evil type of entities targeting you. So a lot of these male billionaires, they don't know what, what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't know. Like, I mean, they, they know in a way they like Bill Gates. They say create these viruses, but they're not the evil doctor. It's an entity fucking with them and using their intelligence against them. It's called deceptive intelligence, which is what my teacher taught me. And they're using their intelligence against them and making them what's called deceptive and deceitful. So I did a ritual and they like, you got to take it up to the level seven. That's the way out. Like God is the level seven, is the number G, you know, represent the number seven. So that's how you get out of the negative credit is just taking it up to the level seven. Now you can get into like nine. I'm not going to talk about that now because I've done that before in different other levels, but it kind of, it's like a door. You stop at seven. We don't really want to deal with eight and nine because that'll confuse you. That's why they teach you like the seven chakras, you notice. And then you get into the higher mystery schools. Then they start talking about extra chakras. Because they're not going to teach you about anything past seven to you master seven. So we stop at seven because that's the God level. That's where we're at. That's why I started a religion. The higher stuff, you know, we want to kind of numb that down for now. I mean, you know, you can go check my channel out and know that I know this stuff. But, you know, we got to take you down to that level. So, yeah, we're working with the number seven. So they got me, you know, in the scenario now to where they want me to kind of like, because I paid them off yesterday. They like, nah, since you like, it's all credit still. So they want me to kind of do this for seven days straight, you know, essentially like see if I can get past this level three and at least get to a level four, you know what I'm saying, every day. So to get out of a negative credit and attacking the female's credit because, I mean, it's one thing to offset credit, but it's like you don't really want to offset the female's credit because that could cause like major meltdowns. And like, don't get me wrong, I realize capitalism is competitive and a lot of males realize that it's like anytime you eat and you take it from somebody else, don't get me wrong but it's like what i'm teaching people is that if you fully realize your dream and take it all the way up to the level seven it turns into a cycle to where nobody really loses and this is how in atlantis and we'll stop here for real but this is how in atlantis they, they set up an economy that was based on unlimited progress and they never really killed something for something else to live because they had a process for where everything was kind of just cycling over an economy seven times over like the jews has to have this concept you spend money in your community and it moves around seven times it's always just number seven it'll balance itself out naturally and get rid of all that blood sacrifice and all the stuff that i'm saying so that's the remedy man is really dealing with the number seven and even going up into the number uh 25 as well but we'll talk about the number 25 coming up next because the number seven links to the number 25 and not the number 20 like and i'm saying this for a reason because you have some occults that they deal with something called 720 and it's actually a deterioration when you deal with 720 because it's really 725 i'm just gonna leave it at that so we'll uh, shut down and i'll come back up with more thank you